Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here, and today we're going to go over the ins and outs of the Wildwood Bundle available through the Fallout 76 Atomic Shop. Let's jump on in! Now first up we have the Wildwood Den, and this is found under the miscellaneous section of your build menu. has a pretty decent foundation on it, shouldn't seem like it's floating on a slight decline or incline, but uh, on these more extreme ones, yes, it's going to look like it's floating. Now it has no snap point for foundations on the front or the sides, so just be aware of that. That's pretty standard for all of these prefabs. It also does not have a snap point for any set of stairs. None of the ones that normally snap to foundations uh, or these like thinner ones that snap to the center foundations that, that kind of take you to the second floor. So no snap points for foundations or stairs. Now let's go ahead and grab us a light and these things are notorious for having space where it thinks like things are floating just kind of in the middle of nowhere on the front of these walls. This one is hit or miss. Uh, sometimes it looks like it is attached to the building and uh, like this one's pretty good. Now other ones like this on the side are going to look like they're completely floating if you get up close. Uh, but if you move it just a little bit down the line to where it looks only one of these like support structures, then it looks like it's attached to the building. So um, you can do pretty well if you put these things on the side in the right place and they won't look like they're floating. Now inside we also run into a bit of an issue. This has a curved roof. Placing things in the center on the roof like these lights are perfectly fine. But when you get out to the edges, you run into a problem with it telling you it's colliding with the prefab and that's even if it's visibly looking like it's not colliding so uh, keep that in mind when you think about putting up your lighting and these things now if you grab your vendors you can put these really close to the walls without them clipping into the walls or coming very far out into the middle of the prefab so that's pretty good i think they did a good job with the sides of this and things not clipping in or causing a placing error because it is clipping in. Now, if you grab a workbench, that's another thing people will probably put in this pretty uh, commonly. Uh, you can get it really close to the edge. It might clip in a little bit. This does have its own special wildwood den door. Unlike other things with your normal doorways, you cannot place the door where it flips both ways. So I think it's going to naturally have the doors opening outward. I like to have my doors open inward, so if you're the same, that might be a problem for you. Now, if you destroy these, <clears throat> it does not turn into the CD shed like some of these others. So someone took the time to make a damaged uh, mock-up of this, and this is what it looks like. Now, you won't be able to build in that while it's destroyed, but it does have a pretty cheap uh, repair cost. Now, these little flaps over the windows that are, I guess, meant to be folded up uh, and then... Functionally, they don't really move, but they look like they should be folded down. You can place things on them. Now, the second item in our bundle is this covered bridge bundle, and this is what I really liked. You can find this also in the miscellaneous structures. It has two pieces. There is a cap, and there's a deck piece, and you have to place down the cap first, and then the deck pieces will snap to that. And if you remove one of the middle pieces, it will store the other items it thinks will be floating. It will not let you have a floating middle piece of the bridge. Now these uh, end caps have a snap point for a foundation on the very front. You cannot snap the foundation to any of the other three sides of the bridge. Uh, but um, it also does not have a snap point for stairs on the front of these. So um, if you want to have stairs right up uh, on the front, you're going to have to do a little bit of a trick to get that to go. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, these do work like foundations. They are indestructible. So from that standpoint, it's good. Nothing's going to come up and destroy these while you're out scavenging the waste. Now, I said maybe you want to use this covered bridge as an entranceway or a front porch to your main door, but you want to have stairs going up to them. So what we're going to do, uh, that green foundation we have, we're going to replace it with the covered bridge in a second. So I'm placing a second foundation next to where I want the bridge to go. Then I'm going to store that foundation that I put the stairs in front of. Having that second foundation over to the side allowed that to happen. And then I'm just going to snap in place my covered bridge end cap 
in front of my doorway and voila now we have a nice little porch for our front door with steps leading up to it. Now you can put these right next to each other and it not cause an issue with them uh, overlapping or colliding. I, these were snapped into place and that's what it looks like also with a door in front of them. The last thing in the bundle is this cedar hedge and it will snap to the sides of foundations but as you can see the gate has a problem in certain locations of not snapping to that foundation. It wants to say it needs support when it should clearly snap. Here I have no problem with the regular hedge snapping to the exact same foundation, didn't move it at all. Um, and so there is a problem with the gates in certain instances with the foundations. Now what's cool is you can use other um, fence sets to snap to these hedges and um, they look really good with the iron fence. You can put the regular fencing, you can put the picket fencing. Uh, you cannot use any of these taller stone ones that we got or this taller chain link fence one. Uh, but everything else seems to snap pretty well except for some of the gates. This encampment gate does not snap, but it does kind of sink into the side of the hedge. So there you have it, the ins and outs of the Wildwood Bundle from the Atomic Shop. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vlad Administrator Gaming. And until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.